She's not actively thinking, let me shit test this guy. <laughs> She's feeling something, either uh, insecurity, fear, there's something that she's feeling and she needs you to quell that in her. That's why women shit test. But remember, they don't consciously shit test you. They feel unsure. They feel afraid. They feel threatened. And as a result, they have to test their environment to see if it's a stable environment. It has something to do with bi you know, their, their biology. Like they have to be because they bear children and because they're vulnerable, they have, to they have to constantly be vigilant to the safety in their environment. And you, as a man, represent safety to her. And so every once in a while, she'll want to just make sure she's safe. And the way she finds out if she's safe is by, like, you know, you ever, like, before you go on a ladder, like, you shake the ladder? Make sure this is a stable ladder before I go climb on it, right? Because if that ladder's not stable, I could fall. So I gotta test the ladder. She's gonna shake that firm foundation that she's gripping onto, which in this case is her man. You're her firm foundation, so she'll, she'll every once in a while, she wants to shake you like that ladder. And so when you say, I do struggle to contain my anger during these moments, what you're doing is proving that you're, the ladder's not safe. And so even if she does feel better, like later she forgets, she's not, she didn't really forget. She might forget here because she's like, all right, you know, I already burnt myself out. But inside she's still like not sure. So seven days later, right, a week later, she's like, right, it's coming back and I don't know what to do. And so she goes and shakes the ladder and because last time the ladder fell apart, she has good reason not to trust the ladder. And so what she's really doing, she's, she's trying you again. You know when somebody says when you're being challenged, you're being tried, she's trying you? That's kind of what she's doing, she's trying you. She's trying you to see that you're firm. And so what you gotta start learning how to do is breathing into your balls. When she starts that shit up, you just don't react, don't respond. You don't, don't ignore her, don't you know, turn away from her or be mean, just console her. Here's the other thing too, you don't console her with your words because you're not, gonna, you're not gonna win an argument. You're not gonna win an argument with a woman. You're not gonna make her feel better by what you say to her. You'll make her feel her better by how you're being. And so when she starts acting crazy and she sees that you're still relaxed and you speak to her in an assertive way, or better yet, you become playful with her. That lightens the whole situation. If she starts shit testing you, make a joke out of it, you know? Turn it around and you make it like you agree and amplify. That's what some of the pickup guys say. Oh, you're gonna leave me for another girl. He said, damn right, I got about six of them outside waiting for me right now. Did you smell the perfume on me? Like that, you gotta know your girl. But that might work, right? Like you gotta just say things that like, kinda like show her how silly she's being. And so you agree and amplify. Or, you know, just shower her with a lot of love in that moment, right? Just grab her and hold her and hold her tight and say, shh, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, I love you, it's all right. And, that, and she, if she's gonna struggle and try to get away from you, let her feel your strength. And you know what that does? Just like with a child, when the child feels the adult's strength, like they might struggle and try to fight, ah! but eventually they realize, oh, I'm, I'm safe. I'm in safe, strong arms. Again, she's not trying to piss you off or trying to hurt you. What she really wants is to see how stable you are. Gain total self-mastery and control over your drinking, drugs, overeating, or viewing filth on your phone forever. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot Hulse here, and if you're seeing this ad, it's because I want to help you. If you're a married man who owns a business but struggle to overcome those late-night vices that you're trying to hide from the world, including your wife, clients, and colleagues, whether it's drinking, drugs, overeating, or viewing filth on your phone, all these vices that you're trying to hide, you know they're killing you on the inside. Plus, crippling your business and failing your family. If you're ready to destroy vice and dominate life, then click the link in this YouTube ad. Because for the first time in my 17 years on YouTube, I have a program that not only makes men strong, but has the power to fix families, repair businesses, and restore faith in a world gone wild. But it all starts with men like you who are ready to take action. Now, I don't have enough time to explain how it works here in this short clip, which is why I put together a four-minute video for you to watch on exactly how it works. 
So click the link here, watch the video now. It's completely free. And if you're ready to destroy vice and dominate life, be the man that you're called to be, I'll see you on the inside. Done. <laughs>